Miss Elizabeth here. I'm here to talk to you today about El Defo, the graphic memoir by Cece Bell. If the name sounds familiar, it's because she's the author of the ever popular easy reader series, Rabbit and Robot. So this book is really cool because not only is it a graphic novel, but it's also the true story of Cece Bell's life. When she was four years old, she got meningitis and she lost her hearing. And the book actually takes us from pretty much that moment when Cece's four and gets the news to about fifth grade. So we see a lot of transition with Cece. When she starts off in school, she starts in an all deaf kindergarten classroom. So everyone has the hearing aids like her. Her teacher teaches them how to lip read and she just feels so welcome in this classroom. It's a really positive experience for her. But then her family moves. So then she's starting first grade in a brand new town, no friends, all new kids, and she's got this big clunky hearing aid hanging from her neck. She's got the wires coming out of her ears. She has a microphone that she has to give the teachers to wear around their neck so she can hear them. And she's feeling very self-conscious about everything. And she struggles a lot trying to find the right people to make friends with at that point. But she really, kind of learns a lot about herself on the journey and she does make some good friends a couple not so good friends but that happens along the way usually um what is really cool about this book is that there is a point that cc decides that she is a superhero and she refers to herself as el defo because she realizes that her hearing aid gives her a couple of super abilities that the other kids don't have so it's a really, really wonderful read. I'm a big fan of graphic novels in general. They're a great way to get kids to read if they're a little reluctant. There are so many wonderful, wonderful pictures in this book. Really, there's a lot of the story in this book and the pictures really help push the story along its way. So I would highly recommend this. Um, it's a really good read like if you have read Wonder and you like those kind of heartwarming, um, accepting yourself and being true to yourself kind of books. This is definitely a good book to read next. So this is in our juvenile graphic novel section under Belle. It'll be here waiting.